And staying over that topic, the minimum wage issue has some analysts on edge. Korea's leading policy think tank suggests that if the pace of minimum wage hikes continue, it could take a heavy toll on the country's employment numbers. Our Tishia with more. The Korea Development Institute has warned that increases in the minimum wage due to take effect in 2019 and 2020 could result in job losses. The think tank projects that a 15 percent wage increase over the next two years could potentially lead to the loss of nearly 100,000 jobs in 2019 and 140,000 jobs the following year. Those increases would come on top of the Moon administration's 16 percent hike enacted this year, which brought the minimum wage up from about six U.S. dollars an hour to seven. The institute highlighted similar difficulties in France, which stopped raising its minimum wage in 2005 once it had reached 60 percent of the median wage because it made it harder for low-wage earners to find employment. Korea's minimum wage in 2018 is already at 55 percent of the median. The report conceded that its estimates are based on the case of Hungary, where the wages were increased by 60 percent between 2000 and 2004. It also said it did not factor in government support for small businesses, which are usually hit hardest by higher minimum wages. The KDS report comes after the Blue House released figures that said the effects of the wage hike were 90 percent positive. However, the top office has come under fire for having made the calculation based on individual income rather than household income and for excluding figures for the unemployed and self-employed. The Korea Development Institute stressed that the minimum wage increase has so far had few side effects. But it warns that the government should monitor the effects of increases closely over the coming years. Choi Shiyong, Arirang News.